cuties, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role playing video, it's April Fool's Day in Brookhaven. So me and my best friend Sky decide to pull a prank on our teacher and it goes horribly wrong. All right, class, does anyone know what day tomorrow is? Uh, Thursday? Okay, yes, but not just any Thursday. It's April 1st tomorrow, which means April Fool's Day. Yup, my favorite day of the year. And this year for April Fools, to encourage maximum student participation, I'm going to award whoever pulls off the best April Fools Day prank. The winner will get an automatic A in the class. Oh my gosh, I really need this. I'm almost failing this class. Sky, you've got to help me pull off the biggest prank ever. Well, they don't call me the prank master for nothing. Huh, Sky, no one calls you that. Anyways, uh, Mrs. Teacher, are there any rules for this? Nope, there are no rules at all. Once the clock strikes 12 a.m. midnight, you are all free to prank on or off school property. Oh, and just a heads up, if you're planning to prank me, just know it won't be easy. This ain't my first rodeo. Good luck, guys. Happy pranking. Come on, Sky, we gotta go plan. My report card depends on this. Later that night. All right, Sky, so what prank should we pull on the teacher? Hmm, I don't know, girly. Let me think. Hmm, okay, well, what if we put a whooping cushion on her chair before class starts? And then when she sits on it, it'll make a big farting noise. <laughs> Come on, Mackenzie, that's such a lame prank. We have to go bigger and better. Okay, you're right, you're right. Ugh, what was I thinking? Come on, Mackenzie, get it together. Do I want this A or not? <gasps> I got it. What did you get? What if we broke into the teacher's house tonight and we pretended to rob her? She would be so scared and you would win the contest for sure. Sky, you're a genius. How do you always have the bestest ideas? Years of experience, Mackenzie. Okay, so what's the plan, Sky? Okay, so tonight we will meet at the teacher's house at midnight. And make sure to dress in all black from head to toe. And don't forget to wear a black mask so the teacher doesn't recognize us. I'll go to the dollar store and get a fake gun so we look like the real deal. Okay, how does that sound? Well, it sounds like you've done this before, but I'm not even gonna ask. Okay, girly, I'll see you there at 12 a.m. sharp. See you later, girly! 12 o'clock midnight. Oh, uh, where is this girl? We were supposed to meet here at 12 a.m. sharp. Oh, thank goodness, there she is. What took you so long? Come on, let's go inside. Meanwhile. Ice cream. Sky, what are we gonna do? Our teacher's dead. We're fugitives. 
fugitives now. We're gonna have to change our identities, change our names, and move to another country. Mackenzie, relax. That's crazy talk. We aren't gonna do any of that. Now, I've watched a lot of murder mystery shows, and what the criminals always do after committing a murder is they dispose of the body. So all we have to do is take her body and hide it somewhere. Phew, okay, where should we hide her body? I don't know. Let's just throw her in my mom's car, and we'll drive around town and figure it out from there. Okay, okay, good idea. Oh, boy, she a heavy one. Wait, oh, poop, I forgot to tell you. You should have probably worn some gloves before you picked her up. What? Gloves? Why? Your DNA from your fingertips are just all over her body now. If the police find her body, they'll easily trace it back to you. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, what should I do? Mackenzie, I think you're gonna have to cut off your fingers. Oh, heck no, that's where I draw the line. I'd rather go to prison than cut off my fingers. Now, come on, let's just go get rid of this body. Okay, Kenzie, just sit her up right in the back seat so it doesn't look suspicious. Okay, stay right there and don't move. Kenzie, she's dead. I don't think she'll be going anywhere. Okay, Sky, come on, let's get out of here. We've been at the crime scene for way too long. Okay, Kenzie, can you see anywhere where we can dump the body? No, nowhere, Sky. Where do they usually dump the bodies in the movies you watch? Well, normally the criminals just dump them in the lake. Well, why do you say that in the first place? Come on, to the lake we go. Sky, slow down. The speed limit here is like 50. You're going like 80. Oh, no, Sky, we're getting pulled over. No, 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 this is bad. We have a dead body in the back seat. Sky, we're going to jail. Mackenzie, get it together and follow my lead. Good evening, officer. What seems to be the problem here? Excuse me, ladies. I'm gonna have to ask you to please step out of the vehicle. Uh, can you please ask your friend in the back to step out as well? Uh, no, you wouldn't want that, officer. Okay, and why is that? Well, you see, officer, we just came from a wild birthday party, and our friend back there ate way too much cake and candy. She's suffering from a severe sugar crash right now and has a massive tummy ache. Any sudden movement and she's gonna throw up all over the place. And you wouldn't want her to throw up over your nice uniform, would you? Ew, gross, of course not. Keep that girl as far away from me as possible. Phew, Sky, that was amazing, you saved us. Anyways, ladies, I pulled you over because you were speeding. I'm gonna have to confiscate your vehicle and give you a $1,000 ticket. Wait, no, this is my mom's car. I'm just borrowing it for the night. Please, officer, don't do that. Ha 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 ha, April Fools. Loosen up a bit, won't you, girls? Y'all are acting like you just committed a murder or something. Ha ha ha, murder? Us? Huh, yeah, right. We would never murder anyone, especially our teacher. All right, well, you two slow down out there and have a good night. I have some real criminals to go catch. Holy cow, that was a close one, Sky. Come on, let's go get rid of this body and forget this ever happened. All right, dump her in. Should we say any last words? R.I.P. Mrs. English teacher, ma'am, you will be missed. Not really by me, but you will be missed. All right, come on, let's go home. You and I will never speak of tonight ever again. And if anyone ever ever asks us anything, we deny everything. Got it? Got it, best friend. Come on, let's go. All right, Kenzie. Good night, girly. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, Kenzie. Just get some sleep tomorrow, and this will all feel like it never happened. Oh, good night. <laughs> Rachel, this is truly a tragic case. Whoever did this will be brought to justice. Myself and the entire Brookhaven police force will not stop until we find the animals who committed this crime. We are on to you guys and we will find you. Who killed my mommy? <laughs> if the monsters who killed this woman are watching this, these two poor girls are without a mother now because of your cruel actions. Imagine Imagine if your mother was murdered, how would you feel? You criminals will live with this guilt for the rest of your lives. For the rest of your lives. For the rest of your lives. <sighs> oh my gosh, it was just a nightmare. That's it. I have to turn myself in. I can't live with this for the rest of my life. I have to go tell Sky. Sky, I have to tell you something. Mackenzie, I have to tell you something. We, we have, have to, to turn, turn ourselves, ourselves in. in. Oh my gosh, phew, thank goodness. I thought you were going to be so mad when I told you. No, Kenzie, I can't live with this guilt forever. We have to come clean and tell the truth. Okay, let's go to the police station and tell the police 
Chief, what happened? Maybe if we're honest, we'll get less of a punishment. Okay, good idea. Let's go. Hey, it's you two again. Where's your other friend? Okay, okay so we're not going to get me to do it. I got that with her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One at a time, please. I can't understand anything. We murdered our English teacher and dumped her body at the bottom of the lake. <gasps> you did what? That did hands behind your back, both of you. You two are under arrest for murder and trying to hide a dead body. Wait, tell my mom I love her. Have fun spending the rest of your lives in prisons, you monsters. Well, on the bright side, Sky, at least we have each other, right? Three hours later. You got me good, guys. You guys really sold that one. Man, you two are so good at this April Fool's thing. Uh, sorry, officer, but what? Well, my team and I spent the last three hours searching the lake for a body, and we didn't find anything. If this was any other day, I would charge you two with lying to a police officer. But since it's April Fool's Day, you two are free to go. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was a prank. We got you, officer. Come on, Kenzie, let's go. I'm gonna get you two back next year. Sky, what the heck? There's no way the body isn't there. We saw it with our own eyes. That was weird, Kenzie, but come on, let's go back to the crime scene to look for more clues. All right, fine, let's go check it out. Okay, Sky, do you see any clues? Surprise! Whoa, what the heck? How are you alive? You're supposed to be dead. We killed you. April Fools! We got you so good, Mackenzie. What the heck, Sky? You were in on this? In on this? This was my idea. Good work, Mrs. English teacher, ma'am. Sky, I'm so impressed. I didn't think we would be able to pull this off. That was the best prank I've ever seen. Congratulations, you got an automatic A in the class. Sky, you were two-timing me. Well, come on, Kenzie. There was only one A out for grabs. I couldn't just let you have it that easily. Well, what about the dead body? Oh, one sec. I'll be right back. You mean this dead body? I went to the store and got a fake replica body made of me. This thing is just made out of plastic. Oh, okay. Well, what about the man who shot you? Oh, that was just my husband. He was in on the whole thing. He just shot me with a paintball gun. Oh, you guys are so good. That's it. I'm gonna go home and start planning for next year. I'm getting my revenge. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below which Brookhaven role-playing video you guys want to see me do next. And congratulations to Cookie Meow Lizzie for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done. And always make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on so you can alert every time I upload a new video. And remember guys, always be a unicorn. Bye!